back to the Agarni Minute. I hope you are all doing well and staying safe. In today's episode, we are going to dive into some weed management in corn, and we're going to specifically look at water hemp and Canada flea vein control. Let's jump right in. So today we have several herbicides available on the market that we can use in corn. Many of these herbicides have a very specific application window. Now, one way to sort through them is to look at their application timing. Some of these herbicides can only be used safely as a pre-plant burn down and pre-emergent in corn, while others can be used post-emerge once the crop is up safely. Many of these premixes available today on the market have a few things in common. A lot of them will contain a residual grass control, such as Dual, which can be found in Acuron and Halex, or Frontier, which can be found in Integrity. Aside from that, they also have a residual broadleaf control, such as Atrazine and Callisto, which can be found in popular herbicides such as Acuron, Halix, and Destra. I think that it's important to choose a herbicide that fits your cropping system. That being said, in a no-till situation, we probably want to use a pre-plant burndown or a pre-emerge application in order to start clean and stay clean. On the flip side, if we're in a conventional tillage situation, we're more likely to rely on tillage to knock out some of those weeds that have emerged at planting, and then we can come back in post-emerge around that three to four leaf stage and apply a post-emerge herbicide. I want to show a bit of data here uh, from Peter Sikama, uh, and this is some of the research that he has done over the last eight years. Uh, I encourage everybody, if you have to pause the video to take a closer look at that, please do. I'm going to try to move fairly quick, just in essence of time. Uh, but here, looking at glyphosate-resistant Canada fleabane in pre-plant applications for corn, uh, Integrity and Acuron, both providing 98% control, excellent control. Uh, and also, Callisto and Atrazine have provided 94% control. So we'll see Callisto and Atrazine a lot over the next few slides. Um, these are major components of herbicides such as Halex, Destra, and they're even in Acuron as well. Here we're looking at fleabane again, but on the post-emerge side. So as you can see, Acuron provided 89% control and Callisto and Atrazine uh, at 90% control. So you'll see the three red bars at the bottom, and I quickly want to touch on this. Now, all three of those herbicides are considered group four herbicides. Now, nothing against group four herbicides, but they don't have the residual control that say a Callisto and Atrazine would. So these herbicides are very good on emerged fleabane, but as far as residual control of fleabane, they're not the greatest. So I would still stick to a foundation program such as Acuron or one that includes Callisto and Atrazine. And if we have to come back and clean up some fleabane escapes, we can rely on some of these group fours. Now we'll have a quick look at water hemp uh, in pre-emerge. Uh, and as you can see, Acuron is providing 95% control, so very strong control. And Integrity is, is just about right there with it at 91%. Again, we're looking at water hemp uh, here on the post-emerge side. So Acuron providing excellent control at 96%. Uh, Acuron Flexi is right there with it. That is basically Acuron minus the Atrazine. It's a product that comes out of Quebec. Uh, moving on from that, Callisto and Atrazine, again, 91%, very strong, uh, and Halix plus the Atrazine there again at 89%. So a lot of products, even a lot of products that we're currently using is doing a very good job on water hemp. So it's good and we need to keep some of this up. In closing, it's very important to always use multiple modes of effective action when controlling some of these glyphosate resistant weeds. Um, some takeaways, Callisto and Atrazine, uh, through the last four slides, they've been very effective in giving us residual control of broadleaf weeds such as fleabane and water hemp. Uh, they're also in a number of herbicides, like I said before, such as Destra, Halex, Acuron. And I think we really need to use a start clean, stay clean mentality so we can maximize our yield potential in the critical weed free period. Now, as we're just about through January, as crop planting is continuing, Let's review your corn herbicides. We'll see how everything turned out last year. Did we have any weeds that slipped through our programs? And if so, let's make some adjustments accordingly.